The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, is a union of 10 member states in Southeast Asia. Unlike NATO, ASEAN is not a military alliance, but simply a political and economic union that facilitates cooperation among member states. In this video, I will compare various ASEAN militaries and see which country has the most powerful military. From 2009 to 2018, ASEAN countries have seen the general increase in military spending. This could be due to political tensions such as the South China Sea dispute. China Coast Guard, China Coast Guard, 5302. This is Indonesian Coast Guard calling you over. As information, sir, you are in Indonesian waters. Please move away and go back to your territory, sir. Uh, this is China Coast Guard, 5302. We are coming out of the in the sea area. Another justification of the People's Republic of China. According to the Global Firepower Index based on 50 factors, Indonesia has the world's 15 most powerful military, while Vietnam and Thailand is ranked 28 and 29 respectively. Next on the list is Myanmar, and then Singapore is ranked 42nd, Malaysia is ranked 48, Philippines is 51st. I would like to point out that these data are not perfect measurements of a military's effectiveness. As seen in the Ukraine war, where the second most powerful military has become the second most powerful military in Ukraine. These data also does not take into consideration factors such as technology or corruption. Despite Vietnam having the largest military in Southeast Asia in terms of personnel, Indonesia has a larger air force and navy. Indonesia is also spending more on defense than Vietnam. However, the Indonesian military is plagued by a number of issues such as the lack of long-term planning. The Minimum Essential Force Plan to modernize the air force by 2024 has been slow due to the lack of funding. The Indonesian Air Force uses a mix of combat aircraft from Russia and Western countries. This significantly complicates maintenance, logistics and training. The loss of a 40-year-old submarine also highlighted the need for Indonesia to replace many of its aging military platforms. In 2021, the Indonesian government plans to invest $125 billion to the modernization of its military until the mid-2040s. Since this was signed, Indonesia is purchasing 36 F-15EX fighter jets from the US as part of the MEF plan and 8 frame frigates from Italy. Vietnam also has its own challenges. As Vietnam is relatively poorer, the country did not undergo the same scale of military modernization as other ASEAN countries like Singapore, Malaysia, or Thailand in the 1990s. In recent years, Vietnam has started equipping itself with relatively modern weaponry, mainly from Russia. The war in Ukraine has proven the importance of having good friends. Rising tensions with neighboring China has pushed communist Vietnam to seek closer ties with countries like the US and Japan. Such defense ties could improve Vietnam's military capabilities. Thailand has been increasing its military spending at a greater pace following the 2014 military coup. However, its military inventory only saw a marginal increase as many of its old equipment are being decommissioned. Thailand's purchase of Chinese submarines also ran into problems. These three countries are riddled with corruption, with Vietnam being the least corrupt. As the Russian military has demonstrated, not all military spending would end up going towards military development. Myanmar's military is unlikely to overtake Thailand anytime soon given its weak economy, ongoing sanctions, as well as corruption. Nevertheless, 
Myanmar's military remains one of the most experienced in Southeast Asia due to the constant internal conflict with insurgent groups. Singapore, on the other hand, not only spends the most on defense, the country has the most technologically advanced military in Southeast Asia. In terms of foreign reserve, Singapore also has the most. Moreover, Singapore has the least corruption and is currently in the process of acquiring new platforms like the F-35s and the multi-role combat vessels. Singapore's main limiting factors are its available manpower, geography, and lack of combat experience. So which ASEAN country do you think has the most powerful military? Let me know in the comments below.